Hey, in this tutorial, I want to go over Bootstrap 4 media queries. So you can kind of arrange things on your website depending on what device the user's on. So for this example, I'm working on this theme here. Down in the footer here, you notice the copyright, and then we have some social icons down here. If I make this smaller, you know, this is going down to different device sizes, and we get to about this size here, you notice that everything goes to one column, and then my footer looks kind of weird. We still have the copyright on the left, and then we still have these social icons on the right. And as you get smaller and smaller to mobile, they still stay over there. So what I want to do is use media queries to kind of arrange my footer icons, maybe stack them on top of each other once they get to this area here. All right, so Bootstrap 4 and even Bootstrap 3, if you're still using that, um, has media queries already for you in the documentation layout overview. You can see here, down here, the responsive breakpoints. And you need to note that Bootstrap is developed to be mobile first. So that means you should be developing your site, you know, starting here from your mobile designs and then moving up and making sure your, de your design and your website look good as you go up in bigger sizes. That's rarely how people develop, but uh, mobile first is pretty important to a lot of people so that's how I normally use the media queries these right here are if you're using the standard uh, CSS but they also include some SAS mixins that I use when I'm using SAS files and that's what we're going to be using in this tutorial it's pretty much the same you can see that media breakpoint include media breakpoint for medium you know you could use that if you're not using SAS so these are if you're going to be using mobile up. They also, if you keep scrolling down, have down. So in case you know you want to change something just on a large size and you're moving downward, you can use those media queries as well. But let's jump right into it. So I'm going to use this include media breakpoint medium here because that's the point in my theme here that I need to make some changes. So as we get right there, bang it goes it goes wonky so you can kind of find which one you need you can inspect an element and then you could go to their if you're using their column classes you can see over here that this is a medium query right here and it's telling how that column should act on this browser size so as you scroll down or as you make the site smaller you'll see that once you hit certain spots for example right there you'll see that that media query changed and now there's different style of, styles for that column class. All right, so what I'm gonna do, you can see here I have my footer SCSS, down here my site info. If we go to my footer, you can see that I have a container, a row, and then a column medium six, and that's my copyright text. And then I have a call medium six, and that's where I uh, include my social icons. So I'm going to be targeting these areas here. So the first thing I want to do, so if you look at your styles and you're doing a mobile friendly or a mobile first design, these styles should be your mobile styles and then any media queries that you add should be moving up the ladder to tablet to desktop. So what I want to do is down here in my site info is include that media query so this media query is just going to be in my site info because I embedded it in this a lot of people also if they want to you know do a media query for their whole footer they can come down here and then they you know copy styles into this down here but I like to do it within each one so I know what styles are targeting which area and which classes. All right, so I got that. I'm gonna target the UL and then I'm going to text align right. So again, this is my anything above mobile. So since I wanna text align that right, which is right here on my desktop, on mobile, I want to you know do something different so down here, I don't want it to be right. I think I want to do a center. So on this UL, 
So where I have text align right for everything, I'm going to do center here. So you can see here mobile styles, it'll be text aligned center, and then right when it hits this media breakpoint, it's going to text align right. So if we scroll down here, uh, refresh if you're not using browser sync or anything like that, you'll see that it's centered, and then as I move up, it goes right. So I can do the same thing with this um, copyright text over here. I want it to start out being center, so text align center. Oops. So down here, it's already center, and then as I hit this media breakpoint, I want to text align left all right so everything centered everything in the site info class is centered ul centered then as i move up you can see that this media query hits and text align left is there and then text align right for my ul so I might even be, since I'm text aligned everything center there, I might be able to remove this. There we go, everything inside info is text align center. And then as I move out, the text align for site info is set to left, and my text align for the UL is text align right. So that's a quick tutorial on how to use media queries. You can you know, target any class or anything on the site that you want to change the size, to you know, make style changes to it. They're very important when you're building responsive sites, so hopefully this helps you understand how to use them. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.